this is Sakura Chida, one of the guy from Japan made the Japanese React video, and you're listening to MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode 81. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is James Cork. Hey there, Norman. Hey, James, how are you? Allergic, but fine. Ooh. Holding up there. My, um, what happened? Why allergy? Is, is it the season or something? Sadly, no, but you know how nowadays that there is no spring nor autumn because of the whole global warming. Now mm-hmm. we only have either winter or summer. <laughs> so for some reason, my body thinks it's a spring and it decided to go allergic on me. So <laughs> if, if I go silent all of a sudden, that's because I am in a sneezing fit. So sorry for that. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, I'll make sure to make a mental note of that so not to ask you questions during your silence. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Good okay, idea. Okay. So our guest for this week is Sakura Chita. How are you, man? Oh, hi. I'm fine. Thanks. So for people who might not know who you are, you are a Japanese brony, right? Yes, that's right. I am a Japanese brony in Tokyo. Ah, Tokyo of all places. That's a good place. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's all right, I guess. Yeah, so konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> well, it's maybe konbanwa. <laughs> oh, konbanwa. <laughs> uh, yeah. Me and my knowledge of animes. And well, you know what? The anime doesn't really teach you much. <laughs> well, yeah. The, the basic stuff, maybe. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be so racist on this episode. <laughs> so anyway, before we start, uh, we have to ask you the four important questions. And question number one is, who is your favorite character? Well, I have two favorite characters. And... My favorite character, the first one, is uh, Princess Luna. <laughs> Everybody loves yeah. Luna. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Applejack uh, is my what? favorite my character, too. Yeah. Applejack? Wow, that is rare. Oh, is it? <laughs> I mean, well, nah, I've done a few interviews, so yeah, the Applejack is rare. Nobody likes the Applejacks because stuff. Stuff. Will, yeah. you, say, will you say that people liking Applejack is a rarity? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, for those who might not know, James' favorite pony is Rarity. So yeah, I think it's an, I think it's a universal truth. You know, like the laws of physics, velocity, gravity, and James Cork likes Rarity. It's like it, it's an undeniable truth. Oh, yeah, true. Like how well, everybody likes. Pony, so hey, what do you want? Um, start to try. <laughs> Nobody so, likes butter, butter shy. <laughs> hey, okay, anyway, so uh, Luna and the uh, Applejack. Applejack, yeah. That's a good choice, that's a good choice. Thank you. Applejack needs her own episode, like seriously, her very well, own episode. Like, yeah, well, she had a couple, but... Oh, oh come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am, I yeah. am with Sakura, she already had a couple of episodes. Okay, see, what, what I mean, her own episode is like her own dedicated episode that shows her in a good light. Oh, yeah. I think she already had a couple of those. <laughs> no, no. Um, most of those episodes are not starring her. They're somebody else's problem, and she's just there to help. Uh, what about Spike at your service? That was a great <laughs> Applejack episode. Are you sure Spike at your service? Isn't that a Spike episode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm, to be honest I with you, that episode, so. that episode paints a Spike in a very bad light. Uh, However, yeah. Applejack is awesome in that episode. She's yeah. great. Well, but still, let me focus on Spike. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But no, talking about episodes, um, what's your favorite episode? Oh, my favorite episode. Well, uh, this is a hard question, but maybe I could say Lunar Eclipse. Ooh, Lunar Eclipse. That's a good one. <laughs> well, basically, that's because the first that's the first episode I saw, actually. Really? No. Yeah. I didn't oh, watch wow. My Little Pony in order. Oh. So um, do tell us, what's the experience like? What, what, what went through your mind when you first saw it? Well, um, the first contact of ponies for me was uh, deviant art. Mm-hmm. So when I was, I, I used to draw cheetahs, and that's well, that's basically why I'm called Sakura Cheetah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and looking at deviant art, you see in the top page there were a couple of pony pictures, and I was always wondering what these things were and like why. What are they? And I got curious, and I checked and researched, and I found that it was My Little Pony. Well, that was the first time I actually heard, uh, like, realized the whole existence of this My Little Pony fandom. So I watched a couple of fan-made videos, 
which I thought were the uh, the canon ones, which weren't. <laughs> <laughs> and I was really surprised that a show like this pulls attention of like a thousands and thousands of people, you know. And I got fascinated, and the first canon episode I saw was Lunar Eclipse because it was in the um, link, YouTube link at the right. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that basically started my brony life, should I say. <laughs> okay, so oh, basically um, you're curious about this and that, and what's this episode, and then I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm, I was basically oh. stuck, and I didn't actually admit myself as a brony at first. Ah. Because, you know? well, yeah, because um, it's a girl's show, and yeah, 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 but I didn't want to be... Really? Yeah. You know, let's, I think let's move to the third question, which oh, okay, fits right. well. Um, how did you become a fan of the show? Well, uh, well, I, like I explained, I looked through DeviantArt, and I went to YouTube, and I looked at fan videos. And the reason, the whole reason why I am a brony is probably because of the influence of fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the creativity of them surprised me. <laughs> I mean, how could like a normal person make such good animation and videos and art? <laughs> it's like, and I want like, I wanted to be like them. That's a good aspiration. Um, but yeah. you don't mind me asking, what video did you saw first? That um... I was going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, James. Sorry. Oh, no, it's, no it's but it's true. I'm so curious. I want to know what was the first video you watched because that's that I am like wow. I hope it wasn't friendship with witchcraft. <laughs> it wasn't friendship with witchcraft. No, it was um. No, oh, was it uh, friendship? I thought for, oh, was it friendship was magic? Was it? Oh, friendship was magic. Oh my god, uh, the one where Twilight falls off bleeding. <laughs> oh, that! Oh, yeah. And I thought that was canon, yeah. and I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that video. Is that video really... is like, yeah, that yeah. was made by Dio's Gear, uh, Tiara Y in Tumblr. Oh, okay. I was like, is this really a kid's show? I mean, really? <laughs> wow, really? It's like, you see a pony falling down with glass stuck, like, stabbed in her head and bleeding, and it's like, what? Oh, for, those, for those who don't know, uh, Friendship Was Magic is based off of uh, Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> oh. It's the ending of Cowboy Bebop when uh, the protagonist gets shot in the face and he falls out the window. And that the, the me starts playing, and there is there are flashbacks throughout uh, for uh, of the entire series. That's uh, that's what the the video was part of. In oh, so that's what it was. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was canon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, By the way, what I said about what I what I said about friendship is witchcraft. I don't say it because I don't like it because I love friendship is witchcraft. Is more that what a shock starting with <laughs> psychopathic ponies left and right. It is like, true. Yeah. Well, I think it's really entertaining, but. <laughs> So you watch Friendship Was Magic, and then you look for the canon videos, which was... Lunar Eclipse. Lunar Eclipse. <laughs> yes. So you, you said that you watched Lunar Eclipse, and you couldn't believe how good it was? Well, I yeah, I thought it was really good, and I liked it, but I didn't really admit myself as a brony mm-hmm. at that time. Okay. And I started watching pony videos at around December last year, mm-hmm. and... I admitted myself as a brony this year, February. Uh-huh. So there was a little two-month gap there. And the reason why I said I was a brony was after watching Saber Sparks' video, a uh, document, was it, uh, what was it called? The Brony the, Chronicles. Not the Chronicles, the Ballad of the Brony, I think. Oh, yeah. Ballad of the... Yeah. Wow, the first one he did. Yeah, and I watched that, and I was, sh- I was really surprised of the whole thing of itself <laughs> I was like there are many people like this and then i felt that i wanted to be part of this thing so yeah that's basically where it started mm-hmm. all of it <laughs> oh, okay so first admitting that you're brony and then what did you do after that like you do the drawings and stuff something like that? yes i actually started drawings if you see my deviant art my pony drawing started at february <laughs> uh-huh 
<laughs> so I see, like, there's a drop off of like, okay, cheetah, 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 ponies, 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 ponies cheetah, and then ponies all the way, baby. <laughs> yep, that's what. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, uh, uh, you didn't consider changing your username to something pony related, right? Yeah, I thought of making a new account. Like making it like Sakura Pony or something, mm-hmm. but I kind of like the name Sakura Chino. So even if you wanted to change your name, it's easier and cheaper to do another account because the way DeviantArt deals with uh, accounts, if you mm-hmm. want to change your name, you have to pay. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Or at least be yes, a member. You have to pay them like five dollars. No, really? no, no. You, if you, yeah, yeah. You, if you're a member of DeviantArt and you want to change your name, you have to either pay them four hundred points or five dollars. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, uh, so I basically I didn't change my name, so I kept on with that account and started putting ponies there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I recommend you to keep go- to keep going that way. That is actually a good idea. Yeah, so <laughs> true. It, it, how to say this? Like. The name is yours, and do you really need to change your name? So, if you don't, just keep going, man. <laughs> yeah, my name is definitely that. not my de- my name is definitely not pony related, and I don't have the need to change it. So, yep. yeah, sing here, yeah, man, sing here. Yeah, I don't think it has to be pony related, but it could be. But yeah, I'll mm-hmm. just go true. with this one. True, true. Yeah. So after meeting your brony, you draw the ponies, and then yeah. Well, let's move on to the fourth question. What do your family and friends think about your love for the show? Yes, this question. <laughs> well, in Japan, well, when I first saw ponies and I I admit myself as a brony, well, in Japan, well, we're far away from the crowd, should I say. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really think there were Japanese bronies or anything. And living in a country with no brony friends... And you have no one to talk to about ponies. It's really tough. Oh, well, that is true. That is true. Yes. So the first thing I did was I converted my brother into a brony. <laughs> Genius! I like that plan. <laughs> it was tough at first because he also thought it was a kids' show, and he didn't want to watch it at first. But I kept on talking about ponies over and over and over and over again. And I managed to make him watch episode one. Oh, you mean the episode the one? Return season of... one. Oh. Season one, episode one. The, the start of all magics. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And I made him watch episode two. And then he started clicking next episodes by himself. <laughs> And I guess everyone knows what happened after that. Oh, yeah. Like I always say, the three-episode trap. Once you That's watch right. the first three episodes, you want to know more. But your brother did it on his, with himself. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Oh, my. So he watched it on his own accord, and he enjoyed it. Yep. So that's your brother. And brand. he was successfully turned as a brony. <laughs> awesome. And about my parents. Well, um... The first time I talked to my parents, they didn't really say anything. Mm. Yeah, they weren't. They didn't really refuse to it or anything. They just said, "Okay, fine." <laughs> <laughs> I was um, in a car, oh, and okay. I told their, my parents that that Japan was airing ponies in March, mm-hmm. wait, April. Yeah, in April. And I told my parents that I'm going to start watching ponies on television. On uh, Tuesday, 7.30. Okay. And so you don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, okay, all right. <laughs> well, you did say not to worry about anything, so they're yeah. not worried. Well, they're, they were fine. That is and, nothing, nothing can go wrong here. Yeah, nothing goes wrong. It's, and actually <laughs> That's my, reassuring. Well, actually, my mother watches ponies with me, so... So yeah. she's oh a brony? Oh, my God, that's awesome. Well, she's not, she's not a brony. She just likes Apple Bloom a lot. Ah. There's something about Apple Bloom. That yeah, we all she's Apple, <laughs> Apple Bloom she says is she's silly. cute. She <laughs> says she's really cute, so she's really like she really likes Apple Bloom. So she watches movies with me sometimes. So um, wait, your mom you, has very good taste. <laughs> did, did you tell your mother that um, Apple Bloom is the same voice actor that did Pikachu? Yes, I did. So what did she say? <gasps> oh, she was surprised. Wait, wait, no way, really. <laughs> 
Yep. Oh, the Japanese Japanese version. Yeah. Mm-hmm, the Japanese I didn't know that. I didn't know. Yeah, I know the voice actress who does the voice of <laughs> Pikachu. She's Hapa Boom. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, That's wow. what I heard from you guys you know, when you talk about it on Osaka Jack's show. Yeah, that's what I heard from him too, yeah. Uh, that really blew my mind actually. I didn't really know. Uh, I tweeted you guys like, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I, Pikachu is the best. <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu is, is best pony. Best pony. <laughs> Pikachu is best pony. <laughs> uh, Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Don't leave me alone with Pikachu. I will wreck you. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so your mother enjoys the show too. So yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So, thanks for answering the four basic questions, Sakura. Oh, sure. That's my pleasure. <laughs> okay. So, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is housekeeping. You guys know what I'm doing, but if you don't, let me just remind you. We here at MBS Show love playing video games, and we really like to help in a charity event. So what could we do? Well, as of November 2nd, most of the NBA show crew will be participating in Extra Life 2013, a 25-hour gaming marathon to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. What to expect during that 25 hours of gaming? Well, expect to be part of the live stream with me. You can join me in a game and possibly see me rage at a game. James Quark was there to witness it. <laughs> I'm gonna be there as well, yeah, I count on it. Yay! Um, interact with the guests and uh, in the live stream and get your questions answered by them. I'm hoping to get people there on so you can ask them questions so you can be educated. <laughs> 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 we would appreciate if you can donate to our team. Together we can help kids and fight cancer. Yay! Links to the donation page are in the links in the show notes stuff so anyway um i'll be playing games for 25 hours a good game that came out recently is gta 5 so i (laughs) might try and play gta 5 for 25 hours (laughs) that would be totally awesome (laughs) and totally boring because i'm not doing any good (laughs) if you want i mean oh you will probably get through it i think yeah i hope so 25 (laughs) hours of gta 5 no (sighs) But anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is news time. In today's news time, Michelle Kriber plans concert with Black Griffin and Mandapony. Recently on Twitter, Michelle Kriber, the voice actress for Apple Bloom, announced that she is planning on holding a concert with Black Griffin and Mandapony. She had also asked her followers to state where they are from if they are interested in the concert. Links can be found in the show notes. So, guys, what do you think of this? Like, oh, Michelle Kriba wow. possibly coming to your country. Please come to Japan now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand. Please. <laughs> Tokyo, whatever. <laughs> I think Tokyo is, is a feasible option because it's the capital uh, and stuff. Yeah, but I don't know. It would be great if they could come. Mm, I wish they would come to Malaysia or Singapore because I'm close to Singapore. So, yay, the closer the better. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, James? Uh, well, you know, I'm not a very music guy, but I'm glad that she's going over to other places and like uh, visiting other countries. That's awesome! Like opening your talent and spreading it all over the world. That's brilliant. And if she keeps herself level-headed, like she has always proved to be, although she can also be very silly, I think that's more than more than great. True, true. Man, I just wish she would come so I could just say hi and. Say hi to Griffin and Mando Pony. Yeah, I would really <laughs> like to meet these people. They are really talented people, and man. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I'll, I'll I'll go to Griffin and say, "Hey, what blood type are you?" Because I want some of your blood. Because you are so amazing. It's like you do animation, you do music, you do voice acting, you do artwork, and you are in the military. What don't you do? He's the Chuck Norris of brownies. He does everything. Mike. My God. That, that is true. That, that sounds feasible and logical. He's the Chuck Norris. I hope he hears this. I, I hope he listens to this because I, I, I wonder what he, what his opinion is going to be when he's, uh, he hears that I compare him to Chuck Norris. Uh, well, I could just send him a tweet. Hey, Black Griffin. Oh, no. <laughs> James Cork said you're like Chuck Norris. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm too self-aware of being silly. I mean. <laughs> uh, silly is good silly. But uh, still, uh, we all wish uh, most of the foreigners would come to our country. <laughs> the yeah. popular foreigners, by the way. 
<laughs> uh, those celebrities on TV. Well, who needs them? We need the pony celebrities. That's right. And That's right. Exactly. 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 Yeah, but anyway, um, with all that silliness aside, let's move on to the next news. And German pony plush. In a previous episode, we mentioned that a German company by the name of Nixi was going to make a high-quality pony plush. Look at episode 48 and 49. Eight months after the announcement, the plush are now available for sale on their website. The items that you can get at their store is a 12-inch Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie Keychain. Also available is a 20cm, 30cm, and 50cm standing Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie Plush. If you are a hardcore Pinkie Pie fan, there is also a 80cm standing Pinkie Pie Plush. Wow. Links can be found in the show notes. So, yeah, the Pony Plush. That's so insane. That's well, eighty centimeter. That's big. Yeah, we have eighty centimeter. Home. That's that's that's, also, that's almost as big as the the rarity plus that I have. No, yeah, I know, I know, me rarity and all that. But I have a like, yeah, more or less that that height of of plush. They're huge. Mm. I can tell you that. Wow. Yeah, and twenty that's centimeters. Big. Twenty centimeters is almost like a. Well, as you guys know, but if you have a thirty centimeter ruler, just imagine that tall. I think my, yeah. my my computer screen is a 23 centimeter or something, so I think it's about as tall as my computer screen. <laughs> oh, just, 20 yeah. is already quite. 20 is quite big already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 20 is big. I think. Wait, was it 20 inches? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no. you need to check that out because careful with that. Maybe it's inches. No, no. Yeah. insane. The, the website is centimeters. I double checked oh, okay. it. No, but still, there's a big plush and. From what I see, the plush are really affordable for people who deal in euros because their currency is euros. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Let me just double check for you guys. The keychain is about 10 euros. The plush is about 16 euros. And the 80 centimeter plush is about 120 euros. So, James, I think you could afford some of them. Like, for us, we need to convert them, and I am not in the position of converting right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I won't convert them. I will leave them like that. But I think I have enough with just one plushie. Uh, if I buy any other plushies in the future, they're going to be very small ones. Very but deep. you see those chubbies that are on, on conventions that are uh, based on the Raikisu M- MLC blo- M- MLP blobs? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, I might buy one of those. Those are cute, really cute. But no, um, uh, um, from what I see here, it's another option to buy show accurate style ponies. And if it's cheap, why not, right? Yeah, if it's cheap and has good quality, you have nothing to lose and a lot of to gain. True, true. Mm-hmm. And if you have a European friend, you might ask them to buy it for you. Well, mostly in German, but still, ponies. God damn. <laughs> yeah, don't go to don't go to me because here in Spain it's not that popular. Oh yeah, well, it's super popular in the UK and quite popular in Germany, but here in Spain, nah, we like Bakugan <laughs> and we like Beyblade. Oh, and we like the regular show. <laughs> the regular show is actually pretty good, but yeah, we don't like MLP. That's for girls. It's pink. What? We don't really? like it. I thought MLP no, was really, a guy's show. Not, Oh, I'm not even. <laughs> it is a guy's show. Yeah, it is a guy's show. I know, right? But yep. it's like, nah, that, you have to con- you have to consider that it has this stigma of the '80s that it doesn't shake off that quickly. It's even not comp- It's not even completely shaken off. Not even in the fandom. So you have to be careful on that. Mm, okay, no problem. But still, um, another avenue for plush. And well, you're um, Spain. Shame on you for not liking the ponies. <laughs> I take the blame for the entire country. I'm sorry, senor. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been racist now? <laughs> oh, sorry. So anyway, uh, moving on to the last news. Funko Mystery Minis coming soon. If you are a big fan of the Funko vinyl figures, you are going to enjoy this. Funko are in the works to bring us their latest entry in the Mystery Mini collection. They are going to bring us a 2.5 inch version of their very popular vinyl ponies. The difference for this set, besides the size, are the ponies' coat 
are colored black, while their mane's eyes and cutie mark retain the original colors. There's a glow in the dark version of Derpy and Vinyl Scratch included in this collection. Links and pictures can be found in the show notes. So, guys, are you excited? Because I know I am. Yeah, I'm excited, but I don't think I could get any in Japan. Yeah, well, there's <laughs> always the Amazon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know, because I bought my first Funko Vinyl uh, Rainbow Dash figure last uh, week. Ooh. And I don't know how much they cost in uh, the other countries, but it cost it 3,000 yen, 3, which is yen about... Is Thirty dollars oh. in America. Uh, it's not and... that bad. I thought it was. It would be higher. Well, well um, I don't know. Um, how do I put this? Thirty dollars for a vinyl. You pay. You technically pay double for it. I think so. That's I guess. Bit, yeah. Uh, actually, that is not a very bad price for that kind of t- uh, quality. We are mm. not talking about a toy. We are talking about something that is decorative and all that. And true, true. it and looks. It looks really good. It looks show accurate. True. Yeah, it is and so for, accurate, actually. And for the price that you're paying, basically, you're paying $30 for tax and shipping. So, yay. Well, yeah. But I wish I could go to the actual country and get it myself. <laughs> so. you, you know, I I have all of the collection that is out now. And oh, really? Yeah, I, I do have the Dr. Derpy, Fluttershy, Rainbow, Pinkie Pie, and Lyra. And you know what? How, do you, how um, do you get them? You know, Hot Topic is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, but Hot Topic doesn't ship to Spain. Really? They don't? Yeah. It doesn't. That is it strange. Doesn't. It doesn't ship to Spain. I tried to make an order and I was like, okay, I'm going to get me a Derpy. Uh, because, you know, Derpy. And I was like, I'm going to order one, seeing the places that it ships. Spain is not on the list. Really? And I sent a, really? I sent an email to them. Yeah, I sent them an email, and they are like, "I'm sorry, we don't cover that area of the world. Please try to find another provider." And I'm like, <laughs> "True, rage." Okay, okay, no problem. No, Do you want to play it that way? I'll give my money to Willow Fine. Those guys have no problem shipping all over the place. Oh, but yeah. still, um, I'm I'm a bit surprised they don't ship there. Will they ship to Japan? Uh, actually, I tried to get one on Hot Topic. Mm-hmm. The shipping was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was actually more expensive than the, than the toy figure than its itself. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are they are like Equestria Daily. They are picky with the shipping. <laughs> it was so expensive. I I, can, I actually dropped my credit card just right there. <laughs> so, so you didn't do it then? I didn't get it. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's unbelievable. Wow. No, but still, yeah. um, I, the way I did it was I did a bulk buy with a friend, and we only did it when they only had some kind of insane discount. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Like when. Um, QD drops a uh, $170 discount code for that. Like, if you only buy items above $150, I just use that. And hey, yo, it's kind of uh, free shipping. Oh, really? Yeah, if you just... It's, it takes time. Like, you really need to use the code when they have the code available and stuff, something like that. Oh. So it saves a lot on shipping. That's all I have to say. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll try finding that code. Because <laughs> uh, I thought it costed like $60 for shipping. I was like, what? <laughs> but The still, code. Uh, I'll link you to a code when it's out. Because the code is a time, time-sensitive time code kind of deal. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I would like still, that. Still, uh, the, I don't know what to say. I do buy all the Pony Funko vinyls. And looking at this, I want them. Just for the reason to trade off with people. Because... You're going to buy two and then like, oh, I already have a Rainbow Dash. And you want a Rainbow Dash. Want to trade? Okay, I trade for whatever you have a double. And basically, it's a trading system. Yay. Mm. And if you look at the link, the pictures of the ponies, I think vinyl... No, I, I think oh, vinyl looks good and Rainbow Dash looks good. Yeah. In my opinion, I think what they... What that they did something very weird is like uh, we with the ponies that already have a dark coat. Like Octavia also looks all right, but what is the point of Pinky looking black? Like having a complete black body. I, I, uh, the side decisions 
It's a very weird design decision. That vinyl scratch looks awesome, and she also glows in the dark. And but the Spitfire looks awesome too. Think about it. Spitfire looking black, meaning she's wearing a black uniform. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm just stating what I think, and it's really awesome. No, no, but still, I'm, I'm, I understand, I'm sorry. Skin tight black uniform that gives different ideas. But anyway. Oh, hey, oh. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, Wrong show, <laughs> not this show. It's kind of an unfortunate design decision. Like I don't know why will they make it like completely black. Yeah, uh, that, that, why is it like a? Is it like a cost? Why do they have to make them that single color? It, it's just it's weird. True. In my opinion, if I was the guy behind these designs, I would have picked like two or three characters and focused on them and tried to get their colors right instead of making a bunch of characters and make them all the same color. No, but the like, thing is, like, uh, James, the thing is, they already did with the proper vinyl, the big six-inch vinyls. So uh, it's true that it's strange that they did this, but still, uh, it could be a design decision on their part. Well, uh, maybe it's for cutting costs, because they don't, la- they don't have to spend a lot, of, a lot of money getting all the colors right, because they are all black. Mm-hmm. True, true. Uh, but oh well, it's kind of, if you like it, go buy it then. I want to get that vinyl, though. Close in the dark vinyl scratch, oh, man. Yeah, How man. badass is that? You know, I, I want the black vinyl if it can glow in the dark, but only her mane. Then, like, oh god, so awesome! All the warps. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, sorry, Sakura, we're, we're nerding <laughs> out for ponies. It's not strange, is it? <laughs> Oh, we're still talking about ponies, so yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> true, true. Anyway. Well, I thought we were going to talk about science. Isn't it the science cast? Oh, wait, I think you mean the wrong show. Oh, uh, not again. Okay. Well, anyway, Sorry, guys. So no problem. Anyway, that, that was the news time, and let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is guest time. And in today's guest time, we have Sakura Chita. He is a Japanese brony and also an artist on DeviantArt, and also the guy who created the, the Japanese bronies React. Hello there. Having fun yet? Oh, I'm, I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's awesome. So, mind telling to the people who might not know who you are, what you do? Uh, okay. Um, well, you basically told them everything. So, <laughs> well, I'll explain deeper. Okay. Well, I am a deviant art artist, and I make, well, I draw a couple of, well, I haven't drawn so many pony pictures yet, but I'm sort of getting through this and yeah uh yeah i draw ponies a lot and yeah and i create videos and i think many people know that the i'm the creator of japanese react and uh, yeah that's basically it i guess <laughs> it's cool it's cool no but still um the Japo- japanese reacts um that is an awesome video seriously oh, thank you i've seen it and i've one i'm, I'm gonna few first that commented on it and oh, okay. uh, yeah, and I think I was there after the whole thing I emailed you or actually Facebook no it was YouTube message you yes, asking that's you right. to, yeah and still um, what you did was pretty awesome thank you <laughs> so um, we'll take one step at a time and since people know you from your Japanese bronies Japanese bronies react video so we'll start from there so okay how did it got started? What, what ideas? How did it got started? How do you came up with the idea? Well, um, when I first heard that My Little Pony was going to be airing in Japan, I was really excited. <laughs> and I came up with the idea right before it aired in Japan. And I found out that there were um, Japanese bronies in Japan. And I was a big fan of AC Race Best's Bronies React. And I really loved those videos. And I thought I could uh, make something similar, just that the people in it were Japanese bronies. Well, bronies from Japan. And, well, I contacted AC Race Best uh, through Facebook, I think. And I asked him if I could make something similar. And I wasn't expecting a reply, but he said, well, why not do it or something like that? (laughs) Yeah. I think he said... I'd say go for it. That's what he said. Oh, so, so awesome. yeah. And I contacted a few bronies in Japan, including Osaka Jack, and I received their videos. <laughs> and, oh. Yeah, and I started editing. So, and, yeah, it took me five months, though. Wow, okay. But no, um, from what I understand and from what I've seen of the video, it's a lot of 
um, people that are how they put this they look casual they look normal they you, how they put this they're not the type of people that you think that like ponies so how did you find them how did you find them individually oh basically uh, well, actually um there was this um there was a japanese brony who had a blog mm-hmm. that um talked about my little pony and i contacted his the uh, I think it was by email, and I asked him about this project, and he really liked it. And I asked him if he could uh, gather some friends he has, he had, brony friends. And he came upon three bronies at first that would, had interest in the project, and only two participated, mm-hmm. which was um, uh, Yoshio and Naomai. In the video, and mm-hmm. yeah, and I contacted Osaka Jack through uh, email by myself, and the other uh, two, uh, Barrio, he's my friend, actually, okay. <laughs> and he has just got into ponies, and he's not completely in love with it yet, but yeah. The and keyword is yet. Yet. <laughs> and uh, Slamo Leo is actually my brother. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I gathered all those reactions and made it into one video. Awesome, awesome. So, what was your vision for the video besides the obvious thing about for them to react to said video? Like, um, was it a cultural difference kind of deal or is it to compare the American to the Japanese version? Well, actually, um, I wanted to bring up the... Ronies in Japan, because we are really far away from the main group, should I say? True, 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 true. Yeah, so I wanted to be some sort of igniting, uh-huh. <laughs> like ignition or something like that. Bringing out and a spark that yeah, people some, that something like Japanese that. Japanese Ronies exist. Yeah, something like that, something like that. And I didn't really expect this much attention. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, and I think it was a success. From an outsider's point of view, I have to say the same thing too because from what I've seen, it's pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. You have done the thing that we all do at the beginning and that we should never do. You underestimated the fandom. <laughs> <laughs> the fandom's capacity for liking something is in a, it, it, it's incredible. They just go all of, out of their ways to support and like stuff. Mm, true, true. Well, the fandom is a group of very nice people, so yeah. Mm, I agree. True, true. Yeah. So, um, when looking through the video, um, I noticed that your style of video was kind of doing the Nico Nico Doga kind of system, where, not really oh, that, but okay. where you inserted subtitles and you also inserted um, funny clips. Or reaction. I don't know how you do it, like... I think. Oh, okay. The subtitles. Well, I actually, um, I wanted to make a video where both Japanese people and English speakers could be entertained. Mm-hmm. And the only way to do that was to put subtitles in it, <laughs> which is really uh, entertaining on both parts, really. Because when I, when the Japanese uh, Brownies spoke, there was an English subtitle, and when yeah, the right. Japanese spoke English, there's a Japan, uh, there's a Japanese subtitle, and the way you did it was really fun. When something to do with an inflection of something like um, something strange happening. The word is also strange and maybe you oh, play with yeah, effects yeah, too. Yeah. That was fun. It's, it's a very Japanese style really. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I tried it like a Japanese style I think, yeah, because um, in most Japanese TV shows when someone says like, I don't know, like speaks loudly the mm-hmm. word becomes big <laughs> or something like that and yeah, I basically took that into my video and made it like that. And like I said, it, it reflects on the video. It's not a normal style of video that you see with, how do I put this? Basically, it's a Japanese twist on the whole thing that we already seen. Like, AC Race Best does his video. Um, you There's always this one guy who flips tables and you also see Black Griffin <laughs> who acts over <laughs> excited and stuff. Yeah. So basically, you guys, you have that too, I can tell. You, 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 you have that, um, how do I say this? You have those characters, and I hope you don't change, but yet at the same time, add in people. Because some of the people I saw, yeah, it was fun, it was fun. <laughs> so, would it be fair to say that uh, 
that the Japanese version of Pronis React is a very Japanese version of Pronis React. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I will so. to say, but yeah, that's. Uh, now I need to watch this. <laughs> Good hit, man! It's really awesome. I need to watch it badly because I li- I love everything that comes from Japan. Oh yeah, true, it, true. It, it clicks right with me. Mm-hmm. So I, I've noticed in the video there were some uh, people who were a bit deadpan and didn't really react that much, but still, I find it entertaining. Um, I think they were nervous. <laughs> oh, we are true. Yeah, because the first time I contacted them, they were a little nervous about reacting. Mm. And they were worried, actually. It's oh. like, was I good enough? And I was like, is this good enough for the reaction video? I was like, it's okay, it's great, thank you. <laughs> and- if they were I, pretty nervous. If yeah. I remember right, on your interview with Osaka Jack, you mentioned mm-hmm. that um, in Japan, not many people uh, send their videos to a total stranger. Well, well, yeah, it's, I don't know, maybe it's a Japan thing. It's like, well, I don't know. Japanese people aren't that out really proactive <laughs> at like sending stuff that you haven't to people you haven't talked to or even seen because i'll be worried if someone asks me to send my f- picture to someone who has an uh, like uh, who i haven't talked to mm. and yeah but i don't know okay it's understandable yeah. I, I think it's it, um it's international the fear of a stranger taking your video yeah i was just glad that they trusted <laughs> me <laughs> thank yeah thanks <laughs> It's okay. I just want you to be on this website. <laughs> oh God, no. It's going to be safe. Don't worry. You can trust me. I work for Hasbro. <laughs> oh, no. Not with that voice, man. Not with that voice. Creepy. Mm. <laughs> but um, I also noticed that there are also a few English speakers in the video. Yes. Osaka Jack, uh, my brother and me. Oh. We spoke Japanese, uh, English. Oh, only the three of you? No. Yeah. Not the rest? I think so. I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, I noticed I saw a few people also did spoke in English. I don't really remember or tried to. But still, it was entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope it was. <laughs> no, uh, it really was. And your part, um, was it you're wearing white shirt and black pants? Yes, I yeah, think. Yeah. yeah. I have to say that I thought I was looking at a celebrity, but that could be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, are you implying that our guest is not a celebrity? Oh, how dare you? No, I mean, like a, a real <gasps> Japanese celebrity. You, you know what I mean? Don't twist, don't twist my words. <laughs> Lucy in the, co- in, the ho- in the host in three, two, one, <laughs> gone. Nah, nah. No, but still, um, when people think of bronies, it's always that... Um, fat triple chin guy with Cheetos <laughs> in their hands or something like that. Here we go with the really? stereotype. Uh, uh, I, th- I, I think that of Otakus. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, James, he is from Japan. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm saying it. But uh, I agree with what Sakura said. That's the stereotype. That's not only Bronies, it's every single nerd who ever existed. Oh, They're yeah. Basement dweller who has D and D books and uh, neck beard has Cheetos all over their face and their shirt. Uh, they smell funny and they live with their parents. I mean, yeah, many of us feel that uh, feel all those uh, feels. I mean, I live with my parents. I'm kind of overweight, although not too much compared to all, to other people that I've met. And I do have a neck neck beard, but. Hey, you need to know the person. You cannot focus on just what's on the surface. Mm, true, that makes true. you superfluous and very uh, shallow as a person. You should never do that. Mm, true, true. But still, um, the reaction video, it kind of opened people's eyes to the Japanese fandom instead of what we already seen from the American fandom. Because the American fandom, you got your Black Griffins, you got your East Race <laughs> Best, you got your, you got your people there. They're, they're staple of the whole Bronies React. And... If I remember right, there's also a Mexican Brony React video also. I don't really remember. It, it was back then, but it was oh, really? not really that popular from what I can oh. understand. But now, what you're doing here, just keep doing it. <laughs> and, yeah. and talking about keeping doing it, um, what's your next project and what what's the next move? Ah, the way next move. This is the big problem here. <laughs> mm. Um, I was thinking of making a second one, mm-hmm. and well, the second one would be either 
the finale of season one or the premiere of season two. Mm. Ooh. The best thing to do is to make both of them. Okay, but... Yes, but here's the problem. There is no waiting game in Japan. <laughs> Let me get it straight. So, you guys don't have to wait. It's basically this week and move on to the next week. Yes. That's next good. Week, um, next week, Tuesday, we have the gala. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the next next week, we have Discord. Oh. Oh, yeah. we are. Yeah. And I have to collect all the reactions <laughs> for three episodes <laughs> and make them <laughs> in a very short time. Oh. Because if I had a waiting game, I would have plenty of time to make the episode reaction for the gala. Mm. And then switch on to the premiere. Mm. Yeah, but I don't have the time. (laughs) Because they're right next to each other. But I I am just... Oh, go go on, please. please. Yeah, so I'm really... Uh, we're, I don't. I don't know if which one I would do after this one. So, um, James, you go first, and then I'll say something. Yeah, I was going to say that I'm thinking on the poor children watching the show. <laughs> the the mood whiplash they're going to get is amazing. Gala, funny, funny, happy, silly. Next episode, chaos, <laughs> destruction. <laughs> ah. Ooh, that's oh true. god. No, uh, but, okay. Um, what I was going to say was not that crazy, but no. Um, what I was going to say is you could do. Uh, all three of them, but paste your videos when you pull them out because you don't really have to um, rush them out. Just keep it at your own pace. Yeah, but um, well, basically, the first one, Japanese React to season one premiere, mm-hmm. that took five months in creating. Uh, <laughs> yes. So you have to make a choice then. You know what? I was uh, wondering. You, you know what? Um, go for the Discord episode because. Um, I interviewed Osaka Jack and he told me that one of his students reacted really angrily at Discord just because um, he turned Pinkie Pie uh, Discord. He basically discorded Pinkie Pie. And she, what Osaka told me was she was clenching her fist in anger. <laughs> and, really? <laughs> yeah, like, and it's like you can see her vibrate. <laughs> like, uh, and she asked Osaka, like, is... Pinkie Pie, she's going to smile again, right? She is going to smile again, right? <laughs> uh, Osaka oh. said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to smile again. Don't worry. She, don't worry. She's going to smile. Please put me down. Please. <laughs> Let me go. So I, I think um, do that if you want to have a good reaction. Yeah, I wish I could do both, but I, maybe I have to choose. I don't yeah. know. I think go for the op- I, season opener. Season opener. Yeah, yeah yes. I am with I am with Norman in here, but go for the season two premiere. Uh, not only because you're going to get mod, more material and more reactions out of that, but in terms of production value, I think it's the best episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it it has a lot more going for it. The animation has been improved. It has uh, it has a villain. It has a lot of conflict. And mm-hmm. by the way, yeah, I Norman yeah. that friend that friend of Osaka Jack who got so mad. <laughs> I was like that, but when Discord discorded Twilight, <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> I wanted to kill that guy. <sighs> no, but still, um, just imagine um, the others, like the other Japanese ponies, how would they react? Like, oh my, this is going to be fun. Well, um, well, they were really um, happy with the result of the Japanese react, uh, the first one. So maybe if I make a second one, they would, yeah, I think it would be good too. Well, okay, that's our, that's our suggestion. You don't have to take it, but um, from what I've seen and heard, a uh, Discord episode awesome, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about that. <laughs> okay, but um, here's another thing that got me thinking about um, seasons and versions. So um, most of us here have seen the Japanese version. Clearly, you live it, i seen it. And James, do you watch it? I haven't, but uh, after you told me that the voice actress of Pikachu, the voice is Apple Bloom, now I want to, I want to see it. Ooh, um, ooh, ooh. I, I, didn't, I didn't watch it because I don't have the time for it, but uh. 
I, I think it's going to be a completely different show watching it in Japanese because uh, Friendship is Magic already has the magical girl uh, feel to it. Like, you know, it feels like a very, uh, like an Americanized version of Sailor Moon if the characters were ponies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it even has the whole going late and all that. Um, <laughs> true, true. So I definitely, I definitely want to check it out in Japanese. Mm-hmm. I am mostly waiting for the season to be over so I can oh, just okay. marathon it in one day and see how it goes. Oh, okay. So, but, um, Sakura, what do you think of the Japanese version compared to the English one? Well, uh, the first time I saw the Japanese version, um, I thought it was good. Mm-hmm. But um, since I know the original one, I sort of compared it to the original one. And um, it didn't really get to me, the Japanese version. Was kind of, it was a little uncomfortable watching mm-hmm. it. <laughs> but there were some new parts in it, so I thought it was... Well, overall, I think it was enjoyable. Mm, because um, uh, I've seen the Japanese version, um, the season one premiere. I've watched it, and to me, it was like, um, did they cut this scene? Why did she say thank you? And yes, uh, the cuts are a mm, problem. Like, That's the only thing I can say. There's certain scenes where I understand they need to cut, like uh, Pinkie Pie looking for the book, and it was under E, and <laughs> in Japanese. E in I don't think so. They have an E. So how would they translate that? Oh, cut it. No need. Yeah. Let me guess. It also has to do with. Oh man, that sounded different in the English version, and oh. I so got used to it. I'm pretty sure that because you got used to the English version, uh, it's kind of <laughs> difficult to hear it in your own language. Right. I guess so. Yeah, and it's not that smooth too. Um, mm. Yeah, because the English language flows. When you speak it, but Japanese language it doesn't really flow as the English one. So, yeah. well, it also has to do with the fact that it was written in English originally. So, mm, making a translation yes. always has that problem. True, uh, true. It, it sounds like I know what I'm talking about because I have the same problem when I try to watch the show in Spanish. <laughs> I think it's the same problem for every language. Mm, true, true. Except English. So. Except English. No, but yeah. um, the, except but, of course, except mm, English. But there's a cut that I think that makes sense in the Sonic Rainbow episode, um, the Best Flyer competition. Well, I mm-hmm. forgot what was that. I think season one, episode 16. Um, there yes. was a scene where Fluttershy said, Rare? And then she keeps saying, Rare, Rare, Rarity. In the Japanese, they say, oh. they just cut it. They just say, Rarity? Because like, I think she just say the name because... It doesn't yeah, make she sense. just yeah. said the name, I guess. Yeah, uh, something like that. Or is it what? Uh, unbelievable! I, I don't really remember. But it, well, if you're going to lose a scene, it better be a Fluttershy scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I think they cut it a couple of rarity scenes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sakura. You're learning fast. <laughs> Just going as I go. Why you have to hate my wife? Who? What did she do to you? Except from me, except me, best pony. Uh, oh, because she didn't sing this song in Japanese, so that's why. No. Uh, but no, um, Sakura, you, you said you're a big fan of Applejack, and what do you think of her VA compared from the season one, the beginning of the season, and to the end of the season? Uh, the Japanese Applejack. Mm-hmm. Oh, how she changed. In your opinion, because I have my opinion, and I just want to hear yours first. Oh, uh, okay. Um, the first time I heard Applejack's voice, uh, it was strange, <laughs> mm-hmm. should I say. Um, I was used to the uh, the original Applejack so much that um, I was expecting, expecting some sort of accent, the... should I say, because Applejack has a southern accent. Mm, so you're expecting the, what was that, the Hokkaido? Mm-hmm. Uh, was it, um, I didn't really expect <laughs> Kansai Ben. Uh, Kansai Ben, <laughs> I yeah. I said Kansai Ben, but I was I, I was expecting some sort of different voice acting. Mm-hmm. But it came out as normal, normal, normal girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, which was like a, um, a normal city girl uh. trying to be country, a country, <laughs> <laughs> and um. Yeah, I w- it was so uncomfortable at first. But as the episodes went on, I don't know, it's me getting used to it or she, the voice actor really getting used to the character itself. It really is better now. Mm. And she has you know, that, it's, yeah. It's probably the first. 
if you go back and watch the original episodes of Friendship is Magic, you will hear that Twilight sounds very much like Raven from Teen Titans. That's because Talos Throne was getting used to the character of Toilet Sparkle. Mm. Until the characters, until the actors have gotten used to the characters, there's like a learning curve going. Mm, true, true, and true. sadly, because of how the television world works, you cannot get used to it before the episode airs. So maybe if if they were going to revoice the, the the show again with the same cast, the first episode will sound completely different. Oh, that's true. But um, with my experience, I heard the Applejack intro. I was hoping for a Kanzai band, but it didn't happen. So it's like, okay, like there's no nya at the end of every sentence. So it's cool. But when <laughs> I... She's not a cat. <laughs> no, it's... Um, how does Kanzai band work? <laughs> I don't, I don't um, remember. Yeah. I don't think you should ask me because I don't know <laughs> any Kansai band. <laughs> By the way, Osaka, when you said that, when you said that uh, the, the Hokkaido would be country, I'm pretty sure the entire can, can, uh, side of Hokkaido just said, hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but um, when I, li- I've just watched a few episodes of the Japanese, um, Japanese MLP, yeah. I, I've seen the first few just to get a feel for it. And moving to near the end, the Cutie Mark Chronicles, mm-hmm. Applejack sounded good. Yeah, she's way better than the first one. Yeah, I don't, I don't hear yes. that. I, I don't hear that high pitched sound. It could be because um, they were following directly what they heard in the English version. If I you think, think about it, maybe, maybe I think. Yeah, because like Ashley Ball when she started out with uh, Applejack, there was a high pitch then going. On later, she kind of got the tone already, so yeah, could be that. Maybe, maybe, but I'm really comfortable with the Applejack now than it was in the first one. So I think many um, Bron- Japanese Bronies are onto the agree-, agree with me about Applejack's voice because yeah, it's really better now. <laughs> Not Japanese Bronies too. Oh, you get a Malaysian Brony who says the same thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here, you got my go. vote. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> true, true. So. Another thing that I need to mention is the intro song. It's totally different. I know some reasons why I've mentioned it on a show previously, so I'm not going to repeat it again. But what do you think of the intro? Um, the intro, mm-hmm. yeah. I like the songs, but I don't like the... Spoilers. Yes. <laughs> they, they should really make original ones. You know what? Just ask some bronies online. They can do I know, it for- I know, I know. Like, <laughs> they, they should for- ask those um, good artists, like creators of Double Rainbow or whatever, Silly Flute Studios or something. They can make really good stuff. Just but be there. All, like, <laughs> all I How see are- is a mashed up PMB. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <clears throat> spoilers uh, go as far as there is a context, uh, context for it. And the intro doesn't have any context. It's just random pictures. The only spoiler you're going to get is when you watch the episode and you are like, oh yeah, this, this clip was in the intro. Mm. Okay. Because w- you, you know that you have spoilers because you have watched the show already in, in, in English. Oh uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure be- I said, yeah. True. Yeah, there are no, there, there are no spoilers for the, for, for the bronies that are watching it. There, they might be spoilers for the kids, but uh, I can tell you kids are not, not paying attention to the <laughs> intro. They are playing with the toys when they are, when the intro is playing. True, true, I can tell true. you that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. also, I have a question though. Do you think they are going to have a different intro in season two, or do you think they're going to roll with the, with the one that, I, that they already have? Uh, I'm not sure, really. I haven't heard any information about a new intro, but I wish they could. Ch- they would change it. But mm-hmm. the thing hmm. is, I would really want them to change the ending. Oh, <laughs> the ending soon, soon. But okay, um, here's uh, the thing I noticed in the Japanese animation, especially Japanese animation from Bushiroad. Um, they tend to change the intro because money and. It's- um, how do I put this? Bushirut with Cardfight Vanguard, when they did the intro, they called out expensive people, Gem Project. My goodness, mm. they're expensive. And they changed the... Oh, yeah, I think I know why. Because of budget. <laughs> they want to milk that thing as for... They want to milk it as much as they can. Yeah, but um, HKT? <laughs> 48. Oh, um, I'm not a really big fan of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And... I know many Japanese bronies are not fans of them too. Because <laughs> every 
every time I look on Twitter, they always complain about the ending. <laughs> yeah, okay. I agree because I I have the song from H. I don't remember them. Um, I have the song and it was yeah, it was okay. I won't say best, but it was okay. I kind of like Mimori's version, uh, the yeah. intro, and the second intro was pretty good. Yeah, the second intro is pretty funny. Yeah, I like that one too. But the ending. No, no, no. no. The, have you heard the Have you heard the lyrics? Mm, something to do with love it. I don't know. Yeah, it's like um, love. Oh, yeah. Basically, this girl having a crush on this boy. It doesn't have to do anything with the show. It has nothing to do with the show, and they talk about fried chicken for some reason. <laughs> Uh, that's, a, that's the title. That's the title of the the whole song. Kari Karaages and Fried Chicken Crush. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with the show. Okay, um, I mean it doesn't even make sense. Yes, yeah, <laughs> makes sense. There, yeah, well, That's the only thing, I guess. And <laughs> somebody, somebody at Bushiro knows this. <laughs> that's why. That's why they're pruny done. <laughs> Well, I don't know, but really, they should really change the ending because yeah, I'm getting bored of it now. Mm, true, they changed true. the intro, <laughs> but they haven't changed the ending. Yeah, true, true, true. That yeah. um, when, but I'm um, talking about intros and endings. Um, before the ending, there's this um, My Little Pony TV. Little Pony TV. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> what's your reaction to that? When I first saw it, I was like, "Oh God, what is this?" Well, if you want to see my reaction, it's in already the video. It's oh. just exactly like that. <laughs> <It's> like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> No, but still, uh, Mimori is a cool person. Mimori is a nice person. I've met yeah, her I once. So. I met oh, her you once. Did? Mm-hmm. Wow! I did not speak to her, but I took a picture. It was a project that I, um, not that I did. I was hired to take photos for this company, and oh. I was there to take photos of her. And she was nice. She was a nice um, person. Wow, that's that's a, that's a good that's a great experience, I guess. Yeah. This was before I was a brony and before I was into Carfet Vanguard. <laughs> Oh, so it was like, ah, I got no idea who you are, and I don't really care. Now I want you to uh, please, <laughs> please, me, Mori Senpai, notice me. Oh boy. Yeah, but now nah, m- m- let's move on from the whole disaster of me not knowing who she was to your drawings. So I, I, I oh, notice okay. you draw. So first obvious question: How did you start with drawing? Well, I have a couple of ways, and one way is creating a sketch on paper, mm-hmm. and then I scan it into a computer, and I draw over with Photoshop. Mm, so that's one way. Oh, okay, the, the the normal other, way. Or... Yeah, the normal way, should I say? Or the other way is I just directly sketch on Photoshop and make my stuff there. Mm, so you use Photoshop for your drawings, then? Yes. Mm, okay, interesting. So during your early career as a artist, you mostly draw cheetahs? Well, um, yeah, cheetahs. But before cheetahs, I was actually a fan of Lion King. Ah, Lion yeah. King. And I used to draw pictures of Lion King. And for some reason, I fell in love with cheetahs. <laughs> They're fast. Yes. And then, yeah, cheetahs, then ponies. <laughs> I see the progression. You go wild and then you go tame. Yeah. No, but still, um, during I can see that your art style has improved throughout your drawing cycle. I wish. I hope. It's, I hope it's improving. Let me see. When was this made? Because um, oh, the first uh, pony picture was February. Mm. Was it hard um, from drawing cheetahs to ponies? Well, um, I actually, the first uh, picture I drew of a pony, it was it's Eclipse, mm-hmm. I think you can see it there, but um, it looks like a cheetah <laughs> okay. with Luna and Celestia colors and wings and horns. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to start somewhere. Yeah. What's and, uh, yeah. I think it's sort of getting better. Oh, yeah. I hope it is. It is. It is because <laughs> because as I keep looking at your gallery, I can see the improvements, and I won't say that you're so accurate, but you're starting to develop your own style. Yeah, but I'm not really sure my if I have a really like I don't know my own style because my I think my style wanders off that way and this way from time to time so mm. but I'm, I, I'm looking, looking at the picture it. here it's called day and night and day and night looks really good 
Oh, is it the one I drew in the sketch, uh, the schedule book? Yeah, I it's think. the one in the schedule book. It's basically my computer was broken and I had to fix it, and something like that. It oh, goes on yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one I drew in class. <laughs> and I have to say, it really looks good because okay, I don't want to say bad things, but um, you cheated by using other things to attract the. Um, people's uh, people's eye to something else like you drew the sakura trees and you made it with full details and you draw the clouds like it is really good and the feathers oh my <laughs> well uh yeah i was basically wasn't paying attention to class this time <laughs> i guess and i started off with celestia and luna and then i had more space so i was thinking what should I do with the extra space? So why not draw some trees <laughs> and some moons and some suns and some clouds? And this eventually, this is what came out. And yeah. I posted this on Twitter, and uh, Tabitha Saint Germain uh, favorited. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah. you, who links it to her? I, I actually um, replied to one of her tweets. Ooh. And I think she took a look at my gallery or something, my tweet or something, and uh-huh. she favored it, I guess. Oh, wow. My squee moment. Oh, every, everybody <laughs> are, you, are you surprised Are you surprised that she favored it? Because it's pretty gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't expect someone... Well, I, from like, the show? Yeah, yeah, from the show to, like, favor <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> Uh, I know how you feel, man. Like, right now, I want somebody from the show to fave my work. But my <laughs> work's not that awesome, so I uh, have to leave it a bit. Oh, yeah, the squee moments of life. Oh, yeah, true. We can count them. Like, who here has the most awesome squee? Like, you have your Tabitha squee moment. What about you, James? My squee moment? Oh, wow. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that, though. No, no, wait. No, yeah, I have a... It was a confused squee moment because I I just finished the uh, Rarity, Rarity logo, the Rarity Best Pony logo, and I just mm-hmm. posted it on DeviantArt, and I completely forgot about it. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, I see uh, Serial Velocity from Equestria Daily, who is an even bigger Rarity fan than I am. And he made an entire post, no title, no nothing, just the logo... <laughs> and my, my, my screw was something like eee? <laughs> was a confused question in squee like oh should I be happy of this or oh, not <laughs> so uh, and that's that's where the cascade came but yeah that that was that would be a, one of the many I have a lot of squee moments mm. I have a squee moment every day <laughs> that's well. good <laughs> For me, mm-hmm. I would have to say for my squee moment is when Dusty Cat replied to my DA message. Ooh. Because, oh. because early in my show career, I did not have many international guests. Uh, international, I say local, non, non, yeah, foreign guests. So um, when I gamble and say, Dusty, would you like to come to our show, please? And like, not really hoping for a reply. Uh-huh. He replied. I like <gasps> <laughs> so much yeah. hype, so much hype, so much hype. Yeah, but did no. you did you try did you try to get Apple Cider and Chef Sandy from I, uh, the Bronyville show? I tried, but um it was kind of derpy and maybe schedules didn't work out, but I only got Chef on. Oh wait, yeah, you got you got Chef Sandy, you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember now. You did got Chef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's not about hey, me now. It's not about me. It's about uh, Sakura. And looking at one of your drawings here, um, I'm impressed. Okay, um, James, finish what you want to say and then we can move on. Uh, sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's the same drawing that I have open because is it called MLP Do Da Da Da? Uh, oh, no, no. this one? No, not that one. Um, I need okay, to but I, 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 I want to talk about uh, yeah. this this picture. I want to talk about MLP mm-hmm. Do Da 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 because... Mm-hmm. It's it's gorgeous. I want to print this and hang it on my wall. It's just so good. No, seriously. I mean, I love it. It's, it starts it starts with Celestia, which is the base of everything, and then you have Nightmare Moon and Luna, and they are like kind of reflected upon, upon one another. Cadence is dancing with Shannon Armor and Derpy holding a muffin over and 
Dennis, Big Mac, or who has the CMC rolling above <laughs> him, and then Applejack. It's it, no, it's it, it's great how it, it flows, is, and it has all the cutie marks in the James, background. Um, it's so what you well didn't done. notice here, what you didn't notice here, this course is this course there. Yes, he's in the shadow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not many people he's in notice the shadow this. of Celestia. <laughs> But still, this is awesome. Um, sorry, I didn't point it out, but this is awesome. <laughs> it is. It's really good. It's one like of I those said, modern art. Hang it on the wall. Yeah, one of those modern art pieces that you can print out and um, put it on the wall. Like, what is this? Ponies, but it looks good. Mm. Yeah, it's modern art that is not. That's not a word. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Oh, true, true. But, um, okay, obvious question here. What did you use to do this one? Well, I took a pencil and I connected three A4 papers together and taped uh-huh. them and I sketched them. Really? <laughs> At first. I have it right now in front of me. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And then what I did was I stuck them into the scanner. <laughs> okay. And I drew them one by one. <laughs> You mean, okay, um, the ponies here, you did them by yourself, not vector? You didn't? Not vector. I drew them everything with Photoshop. They're not vectors. They're normal normal Photoshop drawings. Mm, okay. And the tree line? Or, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's a tree, but I'm not 100% I sure. I don't know what it is, too. I think I took a brush, a random brush on Photoshop, and I started testing it, and this sort of weird but unique pattern appeared, and I was like, Maybe this could go to the background. Mm. And I started scribbling it all over the background, and it sort of turned out like a tree sort of thing, which I sort of liked it, so I kept it with that. And, well, I added the cutie marks to it to make it a little more... Well, to actually fill in the spaces, basically. <laughs> but it looks, still, it looks awesome. Um, are we going to see another one of this with some other ponies, like Primal uh, or Octavia? Um, Background ponies. Indeed. Yes. I don't know. This took me about a week to make, oh. and it was really tough. Mm-hmm. But I can really say that my art skills on ponies has grown way better since this. So maybe a same version remake, if I have the power to do it, okay. I might and, do it. And talking about improvements, um, your one of your pictures titled Pony OC, it looks um, good. This one? Mm-hmm, the Pony OC. Oh, okay. Um, um, I don't know. This I don't, It only took me like... An hour to make this, but still, um, for for me, what I see here is the feathers. They're full of details, and um, the wing and the muscle line for the wings. I, I, it looks really good. You did oh. a very good job on the wings for a for a first try. Is this like your first try, or did you have to do several b- before this one? Well, it's. I think it was my first one. It was a, basically a sketch over coloring. <laughs> You do wings really, really well. And this is coming from a person who hates drawing them. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I hate drawing wings. Wings and... I have no problem with hands, but wings are like a nemesis for me. <laughs> so uh, the fact that you can pull off these wings is uh, m- makes me jelly. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Very oh, good job on the wings. Wings are really tough because, you know, we have all those little feathers <laughs> things all over. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I know it's really tough. So, yeah, I... I usually copy and paste wings. <laughs> I make one hey, feather. I do this. I do the same with the with the background. So hey, fair game, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Whatever. What version of? Sorry. Oh, what? What? Sorry. Uh, I, I'm curious. You know, what version of Photoshop do you run? A CS6. Oh my. The, I think it's the latest version. Yeah, I bought the whole full yeah. set. Mm. Oh my god! I cannot believe I it. No, you it actually was... paid for it. It was so expensive. Was it's it just, you with know, a student it's, it's account or something? Student, student, yeah. Oh, okay, it, it still, it's a bit cheaper than the... <laughs> yeah, but it was still about... Uh, how much is it? Okay. $700? Okay. So, uh, yeah, and you have to pay monthly for it, actually. Uh, no, not the monthly. I got the, the CD hardware pack, so mm. hard disk pack, so I don't have to pay the monthly one, yeah. Oh, oh my God, that's awesome. The stable awesome. one, yeah. On your another picture, I see here that you have. Um, I'm in a payphone. Yeah, 
this so, one. <laughs> this one is looking really good. Um, what did you do it in a payphone? Seriously, like uh, one of those um, blue boxes that's bigger no. on the inside than the outside. No, actually, I was listening to a music called "I'm in a Pain Phone" by Maroon Five. Ah. While I was doing homework, I sort of got off track, and actually, holding a pencil is a distraction itself <laughs> for me. Okay. So when I study for tests and stuff, I find myself drawing something. <laughs> <laughs> so let me guess. Holy crap! Your let me guess. Yes. Your exam paper is full of drawings and your teacher says um we can have this well actually my exam papers don't have drawings but my <laughs> schedule book and my notebook is full of drawings and my textbooks <laughs> uh, no but still uh, this drawing here it really looks good and pencil uh, i don't know what to say it, james what you're the artist guy what do you think <laughs> i think it looks gorgeous the composition is brilliant like i uh, it it feels like Shannon Armon is about to break into song about how much he loves Hayden and Hayden's and how he's going to save her. Um, you have you put a lot of detail in the background, like that those towers, the, the dark crystals on them. You can see Cadence's uh, injuries on her face. Um, the, the the helmet looks brilliant and like beat up, like it's just he just came out of a fight. Uh, it's it, it's beautiful and. It, it's the perfect example of a picture done right because when a picture is done right, you cannot tell the the media that it's been done with. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you could, this, but like you well, be wondering like, how the hell do you do it? Like, yeah, yeah, at first sight, it doesn't look like it's been made with pencil. It looks like no, it, it, you, you don't focus, you don't wonder what what it's made of, mm. what it's made with. You are just looking at a really well drawn. Uh, picture. Mm-hmm. Then you see that the, the 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 clouds in the background. They give away that it's been made with pencil because you can see the trace and the movement of the of the lines. That, so mm-hmm. yeah, you can true, tell true. it's been made with pencil. But it's uh, it, it, it's fantastic from an artistic standpoint. This is one of the best looking uh, pencil pieces I have seen in a while. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Wow! And James don't throw out compliments left and right. He saves them. Oh no, I am. I am critical as hell. I I, I I don't put back like I can't I can't talk about the bad things of this picture, but I don't want to be mean in the show. Um, <laughs> but I can I can I can give a fair criticism of this. I can tell you I am barely seeing any mistakes, but this is really good. True, true. Thank and you. from what I see here, like I like it because, like James said, the composition, the detailing, and the yeah the small pieces that you put, like the small details that you put in the background or in the picture because I for one as hell am lazy to draw shadows because shadows are annoying so I don't do them <laughs> well yeah shadows are annoying and I don't like highlights as well <laughs> but they look good <sighs> wow and, and from your pencil drawing uh, to another impressive one the Sakura at sunset phone drawn explain <laughs> well the title says for itself it's phone drawn <laughs> actually so you're telling me that you draw this on a phone yes with my HTC one HTC how big is that one uh, it's uh, a little bigger than an iPhone I guess HTC. you drew this on a phone yes okay let's see how that whole that cat phone looks like <gasps> hmm, it's not that big it's way smaller than a tablet. It's a normal store, but it's a normal smartphone. Oh yeah, this is a comparison side by side. It's not that big. <laughs> you know, this proves the people who can draw and the people who cannot draw. Uh, this proves that you can draw. They can give you whatever media and whatever uh, whatever hardware or software. I'm pretty sure you will be able to to create something. <laughs> mm, true, true, true. Be careful! Don't let this guy lose on Pixar. He will make a picture. <laughs> <laughs> No, but um, from what I see here, your drawings really good and well. Like Jim said, you can if you can draw any if you can draw, you can draw on anything. Oh uh, yeah, well, this was basically made by me killing time. Mm, basically, uh, I was on a train. <laughs> oh okay. And going to school every day, I have to ride a forty-minute train ride, mm, okay. and it's not that fun. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. So what I do I is I use my phone 
and I start sketching stuff, and well, I don't know. This is what happened. So you use your what? The, what's program? Maybe this inspiring artist out there who wants to draw. So what the pro- program did you use? I used Sketchbook Mobile. It's about 150 yen, which is about a uh, dollar and a half. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Yeah, it's, it's really ah, cheap. It's, it's worth expensive. it's worth the money. So yeah, if anyone wants to get it, they should really do. And there's also a um, a trial version. Mm. Which is for free. It's not as I don't know what the difference is between the paid version, but um, it's about the same thing. So yeah, uh, give it a try. Uh, what kind of the, the phone you use? The system you use is Android, right? Yes, Android. Ha 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 ha, my friend. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, Screw the iPhones. Screw you, <laughs> iOS 7. Hey. No, but I, I'm looking at this picture in detail, and you have sunlight beaming through the feathers. Yes. That is awesome. Well, I used um, a couple of layers, but I can only use 10 layers for one uh, one piece of art. How many layers did you use for this one? 10. Oh my god! Well, you know, you know what they, you know what they say: limits make you more creative. But um, I actually used I don't know how many layers I used. I um, merged the layers together because oh. I can only have ten layers in the uh, in this in the whole piece. Mm. So after I draw a part piece of I don't know for a, a wing or something, and I know that I finished it, and I know I don't want to make changes in it, and then I draw a sunlight over it, a ray. Mm. And then I merge those pieces together, and that becomes one layer. And that's how you, yeah, yeah that's how you build up. Wow, that is a great that is a great technique. Um, many people use that in they use them in in like in their normal computers in Photoshop to save yeah. space and to organize it better. Like I do that as well. That is a good idea. But in Photoshop we have folders, so yeah. But in this um, phone app, we don't have folders. <laughs> So you have to work with 10 layers no matter what. So you have to do something. So, yeah, I started merging layers and doing all this stuff. Okay. I personally hate the folders in Photoshop. So I oh, just, you do? I, I'm, I hate the folders. I am sorry. It's just, oh, I have a folder here. Then I open it. Oh, God, all the all the pictures, of the, all the layers are just dropping by. And, mm-hmm. and I'm, I hate the folders. I <laughs> I merge the layers if I have to, if I, if I can. Okay. So um, your OC here, what inspired the design? Uh, the design, it was inspired by my... Um, I also had a cheetah character, mm-hmm. uh, or cheetah OC, and it's basically that OC turned into a pony. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I know. I, I, I'm not laughing because it's funny, because i done the same thing too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just had a cheetah character for some reason. <laughs> Cheetahs. Oh, trust me. We, yeah. We've been there before. We've been there before. We all been there before. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, were, you, I just... were you in the Were you in the furry fandom before? Uh, no, I wasn't in the furry fandom. I just like drawing cheetahs, and I don't know. Somehow, I just wanted to make a character. Well, me as a cheetah. <laughs> My question is uh, because wh- one of the most popular species to use as an OC in the furry fandom is uh, the cheetah next to the wolf and the fox. Oh. Mm. I did not know that. Me neither. <laughs> but still. But they... not, not, not so much anymore. Now the, 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 the fox and the wolf are like the, 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 the way domin- to go. Uh, dominant yeah, species. But, but back then, the, the cheetah was kind of popular as well. There were like 30, 40 different cheetah OCs out there. Mm. Oh, yeah. If I were Super to go cool. to the origin of my OC, then it goes way back to the Lion King fandom part. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. So I was in a... I was. I also added Lion King uh, art on at a website called um, the Lion King Fan Art Archives. Oh. And basically... Um, well, it's a, it's like the Brony fandom, but it's way smaller, I think. Okay. And yeah, people post Lion King art on there, and they people had their own characters, so I mm. thought, why not make my own? And oh, okay. yeah, so my first character was a lion. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I started to like cheetahs, and then I turned into a cheetah. <laughs> and then I like ponies, so pony. <laughs> Yeah, basically. So, yeah, that's the history, I guess. 
Very nice history. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so with your OC, a Pegasus, why a Pegasus? Well, I don't know. Well, the reason I made it in a Pegasus is because my desire to fly. Ah. Uh, yes. Everybody loves to fly. I guess, because uh, one of the Equestria Daily polls, they asked what your OC pony was, and the top was, I think it was a Pegasus? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and followed by a unicorn and an earth pony. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I am an earth pony. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have an OC that, that represents. I don't have an OC that represents me, so yeah. Uh, but still, well, um, yeah. Well, I made it in a Pegasus because, well, I like speed. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's and, logic there. Yeah, and I really like speed, and I really like flying planes. I haven't. Like in games, mm-hmm. I usually fly a plane or I usually drive a car. It's either either of that. Anything that goes fast. Anything that goes fast. Mm-hmm. Gotta go fast. <laughs> no. Gotta go fast. <laughs> we're not gonna bring gotta go out. faster, 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 faster. Oh, we're not gonna bring that conversation up again, man. I had a feel. <laughs> but your cutie mark is uh, Sakura, the right? A Sakura. Uh... Yeah, it's a Sakura, I guess. Yeah. The Any? reason? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, uh, yeah. Reason? Uh, I don't know what it means. <laughs> wow. But I think I wanted something, something Japanish. Oh, people would say, "Why didn't you go for the red circle with the red lines going out of it?" I don't know. I didn't think about the sun. <laughs> But since my name was Sakura, so I thought Sakura would be fine. Oh, well, makes yeah. sense. And since you do draw, I notice here that you have a Japan Pony Con mascot. Oh, yeah, that's from the Japanese, uh, the Japan Con. So the drawing here is pretty awesome, too. It's uh, Alacorn looking at Mount Fuji while the sun is setting. And I think wow, it, the sun is rising. Oh, the sun is rising, okay. Uh, my description <laughs> says like it was um, 80s rock cover or something like that. <laughs> yeah. No, but it still looks good. Like, it looks really good. Well, um, this is uh, from... Because I was influenced by the people on Twitter. Oh. Because um, the many the participant, participants in the uh, the con, they started drawing the mascot character, mm-hmm. and I thought, why not draw my own? <laughs> so you were saying that um, everybody drew their own version? Or? Well, not everybody, but some people were drawing. Um, this is uh, Poniko. Oh, Poniko. <laughs> That's her name. Yeah. So I thought I wanted to draw my own version of Poniko. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, that's basically it. This is it. So Poniko is the Japanese pony mascot, right? Yeah, she has two um, sides, and she's uh, originally an Earth pony. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's her name, Poniko. And there's a little fan fiction that I haven't read yet, but she has this. She receives this sort of magical power. Wait, wait, wait! Um, <laughs> you're, you're telling me that. Uh, Japanese bronies made a fanfic about Poniko? Yes, and it's in Japanese. That is so awesome. Malaysia bronies, why you know write fanfic in Malay? <laughs> and I have it right here in my cell phone. Oh man, that, that is so awesome. So um, I'm trying to look uh, for pictures of Poniko on the internet. So it's spelled P O N I? P O N I K O, I think. Oh, K O. Nice. So. Uh, no, no, no results. But hey, if you look at my favorite folder, there is um, one of the artists who had who made a, a GIF, GIF, animated GIF. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, Puniko Chang, so cute. Henshin. <laughs> yeah. So basically, she receives this special powers and she turns into a alicorn, and her name changes to Princess Rising Sun. <laughs> That is so awesome! You, uh, I wish I can read the fanfic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there will be a translated version of it, but the reason why they named it Poniko, it's a very interesting reason. Oh, okay. Yeah. Japo- Japan Pony Convention. Pony J- Convention. <laughs> Poniko. Oh, Poniko. <laughs> Oh. oh, Jim, tell you. Oh. Are you hurting right now? Does it hurt? Oh. <laughs> That's the reason. You know, it suddenly, it suddenly went from being really cute and adorable <laughs> to an absolutely horrible pun. So I don't know how to feel. 
but don't be mad. It's really cute. She she looks really awesome. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm just like kind of like oh let down. I was I thought it was going to have like I don't know sociological implications or meanings. Like oh it actually is based on this character from the something period. And I'm ah sometimes I think I go too deep with this. Expectations. I'm sorry, but no, it's no. I, I think it's. I think it makes sense. I mean, if you're going to call something, you see something, and it represents the entire community in your country. What else are you going to call it? Like, I think Pony is a good name. It's definitely better better, better than uh, Ya Pony <laughs> or Pony Kyo or something like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, they you thought know, it was a, cute. So the staff thought it was cute, Pony Kyo, so they went with that one. That's what I heard. But still, I, I like the GIF. It looks so cute and so... Yeah, it's made by uh, Koshika-san. I think he's a pro artist, I think. I met him at the con. He's a very good person. He's a really nice person. When you say pro artist, you mean he's an uh, artist? He does drawing for a living? I think so. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not sure, but from what I heard or what I sensed, <laughs> I think he does. Ah, I see. But still, Spuniko, she looks cute. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, she, you know, I, 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 I really like this character. At first, I thought um, she was an alicorn, so I was like, oh, why alicorn? And then I found out that she was originally an earth pony, so yeah. Mm. I haven't read the fan fiction yet, so I'm not really sure why, what happens, and. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> I wish I could read some okay Japanese ponies out there who do the fanfic. Please translate that fic for me because I do love the reading the fanfics. Oh well, I can uh, probably if I can ask the creator maybe translate it. Translate the fanfics. <laughs> I don't know. Yay! If I can. Oh, that would be so awesome. I, I would read it, and you know what? Uh, more people who know Poniko would really enjoy it. Yeah, she's a really cute character, so yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, man. She does have a good design. I will give her that. She yeah, has, she does uh, have a good design. Yeah, and also the names for it. I mean, I don't mean Ponyko, but Princess Rising Sun. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds so... It sounds very Japanese. It sounds regal. And it sounds powerful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This fandom has it so easy to to make good names that convey a lot of uh, messages in just that. And uh, I mean, every single OC out there has a good name going for it. Oh, true, I have yet true. to find a, I, ha, I have yet to find an OC with a bad name that I can go. Oh, please! <laughs> uh, it, it, even the bad ones are fun, like Commander Bloodlet <laughs> or, or Lord Fire Crescent or something like that. I'm like, that's <laughs> so corny and cheesy, but it so uh, cool. works. But um, if you guys know, um, since we're talking about uh, pony mascots and stuff, did you guys know the pony for Bronican, the Canada? Bronican, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know that one. There, no, what's her name? Maple syrup? I'm not sure, but from what I understand, <laughs> from what I understand, their OC, um, if you look at the main, it changes according to the seasons. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, oh that's awesome. That's, that's interesting. I know. That's cool. So I mean, take, if you really want to pay attention, try to look fan art for it, or just look at their Tumblr. I hope they have a Tumblr. But take a look, see, because it's really awesome. But I like Poniko better because she's cute <laughs> and <laughs> she she can transform, so uh, she doesn't get the eloquent hate that much. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The first thing I thought was that since she was an alicorn, I was like, why an alicorn? But since she was originally an earth pony, so, okay. Yeah. I sort of understand. <laughs> so, and then, you know what? If, if some people are really creative and really have time, they can just put a belt on her so she can do the Kamen Rider thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. but no, Kamen talk- Rider. <laughs> I love Kamen Rider. Uh, <laughs> Rider. I didn't like Sorry. Wizard. Wizard was no, no, not my favorite. I love Kamen Rider and Super Sentai. I'm oh. sorry. Hey, I love them too. But um, I don't know. We, we're moving off topic here. Um, <laughs> talking about topics. What? Oh. <laughs> no, talking about topics. Um, you guys recently had a convention, right? Yes, Japan Pony Con is the uh, name. And this 15th, September 15th, we had the first Japanese convention. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Like, um, how many people attended? Uh, ninety-two people, I think. 
Ninety two people. Wow. Yes. For your awesome. first con. First con, that's still awesome. I mean, um, people have to remember Japan is a big and white country, so not many people know about it. And still awesome. Where, do you ha- where, where was it held? It was held in uh, Asakusabashi, which is right next to this, t- uh, what was it, Tokyo Skytree? Ah. Yes, right next to the river. And it was a small building. And we only used two rooms, which wasn't as big, but enough to hold space of mm. 92 people. And we had panels and we had a place where you could draw, you could chat, you could watch YouTube and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And we had events and we had question and answer time and we had a rock, paper, scissor contest. Just Ken. <laughs> John Ken. John Ken, Yeah. Okay. John Ken Paul. Yeah. Oh, it was, so. I love that. It was really fun. I mean, just a small con like that was so exciting. Imagining what it would be like to go to the, one of those big ones. Oh, man. Uh, I, I, yeah. am, I am wishing to go to one of those, man. Yeah, me too. No, okay, you need but... to come to Buck. <laughs> Buck is a lot more accessible than uh, Bronicon or Everfree Northwest. Mm, we'll try mm. and see because ship, uh, <laughs> shipping. It's uh, the flight there. <laughs> <laughs> the shipping. <laughs> I'm shipping myself there. You get shipped together. Shipping. <laughs> Ship Bronicon and Everfree Northwest. <laughs> I, br- I ship conventions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, but honestly speaking, what um, is it called? Uh, the, 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 it's called Brownie Fest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! No, but um, from what I see here, you guys had a lot of fun. And uh, let me see, you got ninety-two Brownies, including two Brownies from Czech. Uh yeah, Czech Republic, I think. Yeah. Wow. Um. So they came by plane just for that day. <laughs> what really? Where were they yes. from? <laughs> That's different. Yeah. Czech. Yeah. What really? Yes. Wow. Did they speak Japanese? No, they only spoke English. What? Wow. <laughs> I was surprised, really. Well, I'm, I'm I wonder su- what, what the reason is behind doing that. I don't know. Convention. Um, Japan. Obviously. Who doesn't want to go to Japan? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> but still, wow. Um, those two went to Japan just for... Wow. Okay, I thought they were kind of living there or studying there, but no. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Just for that day. So Yeah, it would make sense that they, if they live there or, or if they're studying there, but wow, only coming there for that. Well, that takes dedication, man. Amazing. True. true. So um, I, I'm looking here and um, the obvious question here is, out of those 92 people, uh, were all of them bronies or were they just like um, little kids or people who knew what a show would have uh, Most of them were bronies. I saw a couple of young people. I don't know how old they were, but they were pretty young. They were not adults, apparently. They were children, I think. Mm, did they come About, with their parents? No, by themselves, oh. I think. By friends, I think. A group of friends. Oh, okay. I think they were about middle school or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's early, early, early middle, middle school or something. So, yeah, I didn't get to talk to them. But yeah, they were young. That mm. was the youngest youngest group, I think. Mm, okay. Mm. They, they, I was wondering. Oh, so they have to be bronies. They, they're. Yeah, bronies. yeah. I guess so. Yeah. So um, I'm just looking through pictures here, and it's really a small convention if you really look at it. Yeah, it was small, but it was our first one, so who can complain? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, but it, we had, well, we had really we had a real good time. So I didn't really care about the space. Still, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm looking at it now. I'm looking at your swags. I'm looking at stuff, and it's really awesome. My swags, <laughs> my swags. Swag. Yeah. So, okay. Um, obvious question here: picture of Michelle Krieber. What's that about? Oh, that was the open, opening ceremony. Really? Yes. Tell me more about it. Like, um, were you responsible for that? No, I wasn't responsible for that. That was a real surprise. And um, the staff of the PonyCon, uh, his name is Sticken on mm-hmm. Twitter. I think he's uh, Ken. He was um, called by Nicole Oliver on Never Free uh, Northwest. 
Ken mm-hmm. from Japan, I think, okay. is what he calls himself. And uh, he went to Fiesta Equestria. Uh, oh, was it uh, Fiesta, Fiesta Equestria? Yeah, that's one. And he requested some voice actors to give a greeting video. Oh, and Michelle okay. Kreber was one of them, and there were other people like uh, the voice actors for Big Macintosh. Oh, Peter Neal. and Peter Neal. and yeah, and Flim was it or I thought Flam? I don't know which one it was. But... Uh, it will be it will be uh, Flim, and that will be Vin, uh, Sam Vincent. No, yeah, Sam Vincent. Oh, okay. is it, I don't know is which it one. Sam Vincent? Uh, no, I, I don't remember. So, and uh, Gilda. Oh, um, Mary uh, Hendricks. Yeah. And a, I think a couple more, I think. Uh, and they all greeted us through video, and it was shown on big screen. That is I think so it's, cool. Mar- it's Marika, not Marik. It's Marika. Oh. But still, that is awesome, man. Wow. I was really surprised. <laughs> I didn't expect the real original voice actors to greet us like that, so it was really exciting. Oh, still, well... Wow, um, for a first con, and technically, we could, uh, people would say that's a uh, really um, big me- um, big meetup. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a big meetup, but oh, I think it was good for a first one. Mm. Definitely. Um, a small convention, but a big meetup. Still, it, um, congratulations to you guys. Um, <laughs> Japan having its first convention. But still, guys, um, congratulations. Um, things look awesome. And from... The pictures I've seen, you guys have pony merchandise up for sale, and drawings, and even a Apple Bloom cosplay. Yeah, uh, someone came with an Apple Bloom cosplay, and that was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much cool. That's so much fun. Sweet. We took pictures, and we hugged her. <laughs> uh, <Or> him. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, still. Um, whatever. And I see yeah. you got the vinyls, too. Yeah, the vinyl figures. I bought that in a shop where they sell American toys. Ah. Yeah. That's cool. I've been looking for the Spitfire and uh, uh, they're out. Uh, mm, Soon. Soon. (laughs) Soon. Fingers crossed. (laughs) Yep, yep. Oh, soon, soon. And I see also you have the cream game for the ponies? Yeah, that's when I... Uh, I went to a game center and I found... Well, that's got them something... That's a long time ago. Before the con, I guess. Mm. I, yeah. I see that you guys here have everything set and settled. And let's just say I am, I am impressed. Well, we have our next con on January 5th, 2014. January 5th. Wow. That's yeah. almost back-to-back with um, Ponycon EU. <laughs> Yep. Oh my. People, well, people can, well, people from Japan can go to Australia for vacation and come back to Japan to have their own. Wow. It makes logic. <laughs> so, yeah, if any people are like visiting Japan, if Ronies are visiting Japan, why not come to the convention? I would really love to meet. No, oh, man, I wish mean, yeah. I can be there. Like, looking at the drawings, looking at the environment, it really, really is fun. Yeah, I wish the next one would be bigger, like with more people. So, are you on staff for the convention? Uh, I'm not staff, but uh, well, I wasn't doing. I, I was. I'm not complete. I'm not involved with any of the Japanese <laughs> <laughs> convention staff. So, yeah, I would really love to help them next year, though. Ah, cool. Well, yeah, getting talks with them because I'm. I'm guessing they really love the help. Yeah. So yet again, congratulations on having your. First Japanese convention. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not my effort, so... <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> represent, man. Represent. Okay. <laughs> I uh, represent. Respect. <laughs> yeah, and then, but like, I do respect the staff. Mm, true. They did a good job. They did, they a, did a great job. job. And okay. looking at this poll that you have, um, how was that done? Uh, we were basically given papers, mm. and during the convention, we put it. Uh, we um, wrote in our favorite ponies on the paper, mm-hmm. and we had a. There was a box, so we basically just uh. put those papers in the boxes, and the people, the staff, just um, calculated which who was best pony, and yeah, Applejack and Luna. 
That's for the, the best parties. The all best right. parties. All I'm not against cool. that. <laughs> Uh, but base main six is Applejack followed by Twilight, then Fluttershy, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash. Yes. So, did anybody explain or did anybody say why Sid Pony was in that position? Because I'm trying to think why Rainbow Dash was not best pony because she well, is kind of well. Like I said, Rainbow Dash is most marketable pony. Well, no one explained it, but uh, I don't know. Maybe because she sounds more like a male than a <laughs> female in the Japanese version. Um, you know, she she sounds um, Rainbow Dash in Japan sounds girlish, but I think what you're trying to say is um, her tone when she speaks. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I mean, her um, sh- the Japanese staff probably tried making her look like a tomboy, but just couldn't get it right. Mm. As the original one, so I don't know. I don't know if this is the whole reason, but yeah, I think there are many interpretations about this. So uh, <laughs> I can't represent that because. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Well, I don't know. To me, from what I always see, Rainbow Dash is most marketable pony. Anything that sells is with her face. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm guessing that Applejack is happy in Japan. <laughs> she is. Oh, 21 votes, my goodness, that's out of 90, and still, awesome. I would I would guess that Fluttershy would win that pool. I don't know, I don't know why Applejack won. Hmm. I'm I, just happy because that she's my favorite pony, I'm on the main six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I voted for her. Oh, cool, and well, uh, looks like Rarity got 9 votes, so yeah, he Rarity. Probably she won because... Is she has like very. Um, she's probably the most American out of out of all the main six, and Japan has a, a deep mo- uh, fascination with uh, Western culture. So they they were like, "Hey, this is kind of a cool character, and it reminds us of those uh, of, uh, of American movies. Why don't we vote for that one?" I mean, it sounds like I'm saying nonsense, but think about it. I mean. That's like a cartoon version of how America is. Okay. No, but um, <laughs> fun, funny that you said that, James. Before we move on, um, I, I think with the Pony Convention, it's a really awesome thing that you guys did. And, well, um, we wish you all the luck for the next one because I know I'm, I'm going to get hyped when the next one comes. Yeah, me too. And moving on is your accent. Because my, you're Japanese. Oh, but, my accent. <laughs> yeah, you're Japanese, but you don't sound Japanese at all. Well, um, yeah, but today, right now, it's a little late, so I'm, my English isn't that really good. well. <laughs> From my opinion, I don't know. I'm like, we're, my vocab isn't that good today. Oh, I understand. I, I'm yeah. getting their P too. But no, um, <laughs> for for those who might not listen to Osaka Jack's interview, um. Mind explaining? Uh, okay. Um, well, basically, uh, I went to an international school when mm-hmm. I was in elementary. And um, that's basically where I got my English. Huh? And the whole reason why I went to international school is because of my father. And my father always wanted to speak English when he was young. Mm-hmm. But he couldn't because during that time, English education in Japan was very um, scarce, should I say? Mm. And yeah. expensive. Yeah, yeah and guess. very expensive. And so he couldn't. So he basically gave his dream to me and my brother and sent us both to an international school. And this is why I can speak English, <laughs> basically. And it's basically, um, from the tone, I can tell it's American English. I guess so. Uh, well, maybe because most of my English teachers were American. Oh, okay. And most of the influences, the English influences were American influences, oh. I think, yeah. So, basically, the Z is a Z for you guys, right? Yes, Z. <laughs> mm. I was wondering about that. Yeah, yeah. I think we have an American accent, if you say so. Mm. Well, it sounds awesome, and what James said brings sense. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry if it sounded a bit racist. No, no, but I say, segue, awesome. (laughs) See, it was a hidden segue. (laughs) No, but still, from what I understand in Japan, not all people 
do speak English or can speak English. Is that right? Uh, I don't think many people can speak English. I don't. Yeah, we do have English education in Japan, but, but it's, it's not just... that advanced. Well, basically, uh, is... what I, from what I've heard, um, Japan has one of the lowest English educations in the world. Oh, really? No. Yeah. Mm, because um, here's the here's another thing. Maybe it's in what I've seen in anime because there's an anime called K on, and they uh, had, yeah. yeah they had one of their movies, and basically it's them going to London. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the whole awkwardness of them not speaking a word of English it represents, or uh, it shows, it really shows well. It represents well that they don't know how to speak English, but they want to go to um, they want to go to London, and I find it very funny and entertaining. Well, yeah. Well, basically, uh, Japanese people, um, their education is not enough to speak English. They can read English, but not as far to speak it, actually speak it. Uh, same here in Malaysia, really, because most of our uh, people, or the education here is basically you go to class um, in a span of an hour or maybe half an hour block, and you learn English, just the basics. So you can write, you can read, but talking, that's a whole other experience you need to go through because not many people are brave enough to use it. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. And James, what about Spain? Well, when I was a kid, uh, second languages in Spain were kind of like, we didn't care much for them. You could pick like one. Um, this is me talking when I was a kid, when my parents were younger. That was mm-hmm. uh, m- more extended. Uh, mostly because there were a lot of immigrants and uh, people coming from the U.S., mostly military. Mm-hmm. But when I was a kid, it wasn't very, so extended. Now it's a way more extended. Like I was talking with one of my neighbors today, and uh, she told me that they are opening a lot of uh, English schools here in in my town, and they are like uh, not like one or or two, but like six or seven, oh. because English is now required to work anywhere in this country. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And it, it's required because one of our biggest assets when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the economy is tourism. Uh-huh. And tourism is one of the biggest assets when it comes to uh, the economy in this country. And many of the tourists that come, they all speak either uh, English or their own language. So, of course, when you have to work here, they ask you, what languages do you know? And if you know Spanish, well, of course, you know Spanish is your mother lang- your, your, your main language. But if you also know English, your chances of getting hired are higher. Mm, and yeah. if you are like, oh, you, are, you know English and you have the, uh, a degree on hotel management or like an ed- a degree in economics, oh, okay, we're going to hire you. Because your way to communicate with people on the from the outside from uh, from other countries is higher. Mm-hmm. I, I... So yeah, I mean, when it comes to when it comes to English, I've been I've been uh, studying English since I was a little kid. So now I don't even need to study English anymore. It comes naturally to me. Oh, okay. It seems logic because I think English is the one language that can connect most people. Like, obviously, yeah. okay, our circle here is a really interesting circle. You've got a guy from Japan who speaks Japanese. I, you've got a guy from Malaysia who speaks Malay, and you've got a guy from Spain who speaks Spanish. And they all converse in English. That's the only language they know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the best language to communicate. Uh, the, the good thing about English is that it's easy to, to learn, but very difficult to master. Mm, true, 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 true. Um, if you master English, you can you, you practically become Shakespeare. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't no, think really. That... I mean, if you must, if you master English, you become a, a really good writer and English speaker. I, I don't think even the Americans can master English. Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult. Nobody can truly master uh, the language because it's continually mutating and changing and adding new, new words, new new things, new rules. The grammar changes. Uh, vocabulary changes. Everything. It, it's all in constant uh, evolution. Mm, true, true. Mm, that true. is true. That is true. Because Probably Shakespeare, we're speaking about Shakespeare. Shakespeare might get lost if he tried to understand English speakers nowadays. Oh, well, yeah, true. I mean, he is, um, from what I understand, British, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Mm, so, wow, well, just imagine his 
um, his time and now mm, is going to be really confusing. It's different. Well, it's it's different. five centuries in between when he was alive to now. Mm-hmm. True, true. No, but still, um, well, why are we promoting English? <laughs> <laughs> No, but still, um, from what I can see and tell that uh, without English or without the internet, we might not have known ponies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and with that long explanation of English, good, <laughs> ponies, good, the internet, whole good. discussion of English and internet. <laughs> I think we can end the show now. So anyway, that was our guest, Sakura Chita. And thanks for coming on, Sakura. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry my English isn't good as I used to. I'm no, a little tired today, so yeah. No, I apologize it's, it's okay. to the viewers. And... People should understand that it's almost one, It's almost 2 for you. It's 2, p, uh, 2 a.m. right now. Yeah, it's almost 2 a.m. for you. And from what I can tell, um, brain go dead around that time. Yeah, and I played Grand Theft Auto 5 until 4 a.m. yesterday, so... <laughs> Yep, so, is um, it good or is it bad? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. I, I, are you talking about GTA? GTA 5. No, no. I played I'm, the... I'm asking about James. Oh, are you the, asking, the game? Are you asking oh, it's the good. Game? It's yeah, good. I'm talking about the game. Is it good? <laughs> oh, oh, good. Oh, it's good. Okay, it's good. good. It's great. It's great. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So me waking up until 4 a.m. is not good, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, I just kept true. hearing that. I just kept hearing things about the game being terrible, and I was really? like, "I can't believe that! Come on, don't be so negative." Really? Yeah, I, I have not heard. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> if you're talking about um, the that's not a word in game, that is bad. No, I was thinking more on like, oh, you can play golf now, yeah, yay! Um, and they were focusing only on that, and I was like, oh, come on, guys, move on from the golf. Yeah. And anyway, we should move on too, and so. Sakura, where can they find you? Online. Uh, oh, online. Oh, well, YouTube. YouTube. is You can find me on YouTube, DeviantArt, Twitter, and I also have a Tumblr. Yeah. But Ooh. I don't have any followers there. I'll be the first. Link me. Link me. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, okay, no. be I'll follow you first. Link it, and I will fight Norman for following. <laughs> we can uh, be the it. first. Give it to me. No, I want to be the first. I'll follow you. My internet is faster than yours. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I have a Tumblr, but, um, yeah, I don't have any followers, so I don't really post stuff on there yet. yet. So, yeah. Uh, maybe you, you, need, you need the following. You need the followers. That's why. You need followers so you can start posting stuff and reblogging stuff. Come on. Mm, Here we true, go. True. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. First. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid computer didn't want to load fast. And you you have posted a few things. Come on. You yeah. cannot say that you don't have... You should have followers. Yeah, true. <laughs> you and have you... posted your art there, man. Look at that. Yeah, Look at that. Oh, and you have your setup there and also... Oh, and everything. Oh, that's the same tablet that I use. Oh, really? Yeah, the new Intos. In, the Intos uh, 5, is it? I think it's the 5. Intos 5M? Uh, I'm not that's really my sure. tablet. That is my tablet, definitely. Five Touch is mine, I think. Ah, Five Touch. I have the the pen only one. Uh, oh. Still, yeah, I mean, I I don't. Use, well, the pen touch, it use it, you can use it with your fingers. Yeah, but like it's not to really make. Good. Yeah, it's. I agree. I, I I wouldn't have used the the touch features. So I got the pen only, the one that uses the stylus on only and uh, nothing else. Yeah, that's a good idea because it really. Yeah. It gets annoying when you draw. <laughs> it's like for it's it's like two hundred dollars cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but yes. still, still, um, we are following you, and you guys out there should follow Sakura too because he posts stuff and he do whip uh, work in progress. So if you want uh, to he know does what, the ponies. Yep, ponies and work in progress kind of thing. Like I'm looking at the pony do ra ra ra. Yeah, that's the whip one. Yeah. It's work in progress. Um, he doesn't do more because nobody's following him. <laughs> so you should follow him just to know what's going on and bother him and Give ask him, him some questions. Love. And ask questions. He hasn't asked me. I am going to ask you questions relentlessly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to use this yet, but I'll try. Bombard him with, with questions. Like, who is your favorite pony? Why is it not priority? 
<laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll add everything in the show notes. I'll add everything in the show notes and hope people follow you. Yay. <laughs> so, moving on to the next topic is shoutouts. And my shoutout goes to you, Sakura. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. And thank you for staying up this late um, and <laughs> being away from your PS3 to play GTA V. Well, I gotta keep away from the game sometimes, so yeah. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and no, seriously, thank you. And it's been fun talking to you about yeah. cultural differences and stuff. In English. <laughs> <laughs> In English. And thank you to you, James, for coming on and going through your, what was it again, allergies. Uh, you, you've been a trooper, man. <laughs> Uh, no worries. Actually, this was uh, this was good for me because I feel less allergic right now. Like <laughs> talking and dis- having a distraction helps. Yay! Um, How, how's that, the picture? How's the drawing? I'll, I'll be sneezing all the time. Oh, the drawing is coming along nicely. It's uh, an update for movie slate, so it's going to be posted before Halloween. This is a horror movie update. Yay! For awesome. Polter for Poltergeist. Ooh, that's a good movie. You will mo- you will know more about it when I post it. It's going to be funny. Yay. It's going to be very funny. So James, um, who do you want to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out, uh, along with an announcement, again to my good old friend James Panes Broke, who is still coming out of that economic situation I talked about last week. Mm-hmm. And next Friday, uh, that will be like uh, three days before the podcast is uploaded, I am going to be doing a charity drive live stream to help him out. I have a bunch of prizes and I have a bunch of uh, drawings to make for everyone to enjoy. So I recommend you all to drop by, say hi, signal boost it, spread it around. My goal is to get 500 bucks and with that, give him a hand. Oh, so uh, Because he need, he, the guy needs it. He is like 4,000 into debt right now. Oh my. Whoa, wow. The guy deserves the help. He's true, a good true, guy. True, true, true. Well, I'll he try and be on. I'll try and be on. Thank you. And Skura, what about you? Any shout outs to give out to? Well, uh, maybe I'll give my shout out to Slime Leo, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's. Well, he draws. Also, he also draws on Debian art. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I, he, I, I think he's very good for the, ex- the, sh- the little experience he has until drawing, but yeah. I'll give a shout out to him then. <laughs> cool, cool. And he I, helped me. He helped me a lot with the Japanese React video. So, cool. I'll add him in the show notes. And <laughs> if you could give me a link, I'll add his link too. Okay, I'll do that later. All right, cool. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail dot com. And if you would like to email us personally, you can reach me at norman at mbsshow dot com and Daniel at mbsshow dot com and Charlie at mbsshow dot com. You can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. Sweetie Bot will post stuff about show editing, ask you questions about who did you give a shout out to, and also um, random stuff. Talk to her; she's really fun. And me, um, you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I basically tweet stuff about food, toys, whatever tickles my fancy. And recently, I took pictures of kitties. So if you like the kitties, do follow my Twitter. And Daniel, that's S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. He's a strange person. If you want to feel good about yourself, do follow him. He has bad days and he likes to tweet about it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, I know. So, um, James, do Twitter... for him. <laughs> My Twitter is uh, at uh, James Lower Dash Cork. And you can find me on DeviantArt, on DeviantArt at jamescork.deviantart.com. And you can check my Tumblr as kamovieslate.tumblr.com. I'll add everything on the show notes. And Sakura, your Twitter? My Twitter. Oh, okay. Uh, it's at Sakura X Cheetah. Sakura X Cheetah. Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure I follow you because you seem like a fun guy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I try to be fun. <laughs> cool. cool. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and also like our Facebook page. We do have a Facebook page. We use the Facebooks. Um, links will be provided in the show notes. And I have been Norman Sanzo. And I have been James Cork. And this is Sakura Chita. And we'll see you next week. Sayonara! Sayonara! Cheers. Adios! Let me tell you what being a sister is all about, Rarity. Well, you can try to get through life on your own. But trust me, singing solo gets awful lonesome down home. But when you sing a song with a sister, you'll wonder how you ever got by on your own. 
Yeah, we're the sister. Everything is twice as nice. You can double all your fun. Cause two is better than one. We're the sister. Yeah, you can feel it in your heart that you'd never be the same apart. You can make a double batch of Danny Lion soup. You can tag team all the chickens as you wrestle them in the coop. Or you can play out in the fields, watching clouds and counting stars. Yeah, without a little sister, you wouldn't go too far. But with a sister, everything is twice as nice. You can double all your fun, cause two is better than one. With a sister, yeah, you can feel it in your heart that you'd never be the same apart. Now play that mandolin, son. So if you're feeling down and need some company, just remember no one else will love you endlessly like a sister who sticks with you through the good and through the bad and you can spend your older years thinking about the fun you had with a sister everything is twice as nice you can double all your fun cause two is better than one with a sister you can feel it in your heart that you'd never be the same apart yeah with sister you can feel it in your heart that you'd never be the same apart the language that every single person in the world at least manages when they move around is english like mm-hmm. even when they go to other countries they they use english when i i know that i i am with, oh crap <laughs> sorry for that <laughs> Oh, okay. oh. I'll have to start from the very beginning, don't <laughs> I? Uh, t- tell me where do I, where do I start from, and we can we can uh, uh, terrorist like it. In. Uh, well, terrorist. Um, this is going to make a pretty funny segue. <laughs> oh no, no segue. Um, blooper. <laughs> blooper. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. <laughs> and that's the end of the show, guys. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, you. Were-